You see this girl here? It was only last week and she was doing the news and she was allowed to let rip an American shouting at them saying you're a glo you're a global warmest denier yeah and she's got right angry see if i can find it yeah and then a week later she gets invited to go to nasa to have a look at summer you know what i mean don't forget prince charlie for going somewhere or somebody else for going somewhere whatever yeah, these lot get invited to go somewhere, they're off. Yeah? She was really, really having a go at somebody last week. Yeah? C called them a global warmest denier. Very angry with a lot of venom. And then a week later, America invites her over to NASA and she's up there getting all emotional and crying. Yeah? That's what she just said. They're full of it. Absolutely full of it, these lot. Honestly, it's so cool. So, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to be going to the gift shop later. But just, just really quickly, I also got to um, meet the people designing the new space suits. I got to have a go in a moon rover. Yes. Wow. That was out that was amazing. Reason, and to interview one of the astronauts. Oh, I'd love to do that. That was really, really cool. The astronaut I got to interview hasn't even done that herself. So that is very cool. I felt like um, uh, it, I felt like I was in the market. Yeah. So it was, Oz, it was only last week, right? Yeah, it's January the twenty fourth, two thousand twenty. Like I say, I'll just pause it. She was, like, she was only last week, damning. Yeah, an American politician or whatever about being a global warmest denier. She got really venomous, and now she's excited like a stupid little schoolgirl going on a free trip that isn't got anything to do with work. It's a jolly, yeah? These TV people are full of it. And I'm, right, I haven't clicked onto the video yet. It's still 0620 in the morning for me, near enough. Yeah, I just caught that. But anyway, this is the video I'm on about. Actually, she had a go at somebody from America, uh, from Australia then. The APPEA event a few sure. months ago, but she said, worst well, of the effect it was reported of uh, to the audience, make sure you burn as much oil and gas as you can over the summer. There it is. Our weather expert, Laura Tone, wants to respond to you. Laura. So, Australia has just had, in 2019, their highest year temperature wise ever recorded and their driest year ever recorded, with forecasts and temperatures that go back over 100 years. At the moment, we want everyone to the world to be 1.5 degrees to lower our global temperature rise. You can't even commit to 2 degrees. You have the second highest carbon emission per person on earth, and you are burying your head in the sand. This is a climate emergency. You're not a climate skeptic, you're a climate denier. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. There's, there's, a few, there's a few issues there. Firstly, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll rewind and put that in again. Yeah, she's a cocky little crappy shite. And then a week later, she goes to America on a jolly. can see you enthusiasm in your motion. Honestly, it's so cool. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to be going to the gift shop later. But just, just really quickly, I also got to um, meet the people designing the new space suits. I got to have a go in a moon rover. Yes. Wow. That was, that was amazing. And to interview one of the astronauts. Oh, I'd love to do that. That was really, really cool. Yeah, every degree is important. Yet she goes on the jolly. You get me, everyone your head in the sand. This is a climate emergency. I'm a skeptic. You're a climate denier. Watch your little head movement at the end. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I got to have a go in a moon rover. Yes. Wow. That was, that was amazing. And to interview one of the astronauts. Per person on Earth, 
and you are burying your head in the sand. This is a climate emergency. You're not a climate skeptic. You're a climate denier. Yeah. So she's banging out that, and then a week later she goes on a jolly to America. Yeah, she's a little 